Welcome back. We are on the topic ratios. In the previous video, we solved a question on proportional division. In this video, we are going to solve another question. The question for this video is, a bag contains red and blue balls only. The ratio of blue to red balls in the bag is 3 is to 5. If there are 152 balls in the bag, how many of them are red? So in a bag, we have only red and blue balls. The ratio of red to blue balls in the bag is 3 is to 5. We are being told that the total number of balls in the bag is 152. The question wants us to find the number of red balls in the bag. So the ratio of blue balls to red balls in the bag is 3 is to 5. The part that belongs to blue balls is 3 and the part that belongs to red balls is 5. The total is 3 plus 5 which is 8. We know that the total number of balls in the bag is 152. We want to find the number of red balls in the bag. The number of red balls in the bag is going to be the part of the ratio that belongs to red balls which is 5 divided by the total ratio which is 3 plus 5 times the total number of balls in the bag which is 152. This will give us 5 divided by 8 times 152 and this will give us 95. So there are a total of 95 red balls in the bag. To find the number of blue balls, is going to be the part of the ratio that belongs to blue balls, which is 3. So that will be 3 divided by the total of the ratio, which is 3 plus 5, times the total number of balls in the bag, which is 152. Or, since the bag contains only red and blue balls, and we have found out that the number of red balls is 95, we can simply subtract 95 from 152 and we will get the number of blue balls. So the part of the ratio that belongs to blue balls is 3. The part that belongs to red balls is 5. The total is 8. So the total number of red balls in the bag will be equal to 5 out of 8 times the number of balls in the bag and that will give us 95. So we have 95 red balls in the bag. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. So far, in the examples that we've considered, we have a ratio that has only two parts. In the next video, we are going to solve a question that involves a ratio that has three parts. Bye-bye.